Hello, Scorpio. It's my lady from my Lady's Way Tarot. And I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, December 2nd through the 9th, 2019. The cards I am using today are... Oracle of the Mermaid Cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I'm closing off with my Animal Totem Tarot by Lisa Robertson. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, and subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. Alright guys, let's get this show on the road. Alright, what's going on with the Scorpio? <clears throat> Scorpio, 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 what's going on, what's going on, what's going on? All right, so uh, voyage card reversed here. So I do feel like somebody is not willing to take a leap, but I do feel like somebody's being pushed out of somewhere, okay? Um, I do feel like somebody may have moved out or start moving somewhere, but I feel like they came back or are coming back, okay? I feel like somebody's trying to come back somewhere before they lose it, okay? That's what I'm feeling like. Okay, so we got the lover's card here. So definitely love going both ways here. Okay, mm-hmm. Somebody could have been trying to hurry back home too. Somebody could have went on a trip, came back early kind of thing. All right, so I feel like whatever the situation is, <clears throat> it has been going on for quite some time, okay? um, At least six months to a year, okay? But I feel like I cannot go anywhere without you. Oh, wow, this is that real love stuff right here. Um, I do feel like as long as the, you're apart from this person, this person apart from you, I feel sad, I feel lonely, I feel stressed, I feel anxiety. Are you okay? Like all kinds of stuff going through my head to hope that you're okay when you, you're away. <clears throat> okay? This is definitely strong love. This is some real stuff. All right, so we got the freedom card here. So, of course, yeah. So I do feel like somebody may have left for a while. No, not for a little while. Somebody probably left for a couple hours, maybe a day. <laughs> if, no, not even a day. I feel like my, somebody left for like two or three hours. I'm out of here, packed all my stuff, and then just went around the corner and sat in the car. I feel like that's the kind of energy right here. Okay, that person is not going anywhere. All right, so I do feel like some kind of secret just came out. Okay, I guess I could say this is what the eight anger and stuff is about. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, man. Give me one card for the secret, please, for the Scorpio. <clears throat> okay, so I do feel like some kind of situation has ended. I feel like it was a secret that the situation ended, but I feel like it was a trip that ended. I feel like somebody just cut the cut the trip, okay? So I want to know why was this trip cut? We might have to get the answers out of the other cards. All right, so somebody cutting holding on the baggage. Okay. All right, so what it looks like here I do feel like there's a lot of love here, but I do feel like there's a lot of insecurities here, and I do feel like the insecurity caused a small breakup, okay? But I do feel like it's getting back together, but I do feel like somebody is realizing, like, dang, this person is extremely insecure. What is going on here, okay? Like, I didn't sign up for this, but I love this person. <clears throat> All right, so we got the siren card reversed here. So I do feel like... <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, gosh. I think I'm about to get sick again. Um, So, we have this card here, which is the dream card messages. So, I do feel like you got a lot of messages coming to you in your dreams. But with this siren card reverse, I feel like you're not listening to messages in your dream. And you're not listening to people. So, I do feel like um, you're not trusting somebody or somebody's telling you something and you're thinking the whole opposite. But this makes me feel like somebody loves someone. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to go see them. I'm trying to be with them. Um, <clears throat> and I do feel like a little bit I want to be with them because I don't know what they're doing. Okay? 
Like I want to make sure you're not doing something you don't have any business. All right, so we got the wisdom card here. So <clears throat> it seems like somebody made the right choice to come back home early. Even if it's to catch somebody or it's to, you know, show somebody you love them. All right. But I do feel like if this is not to catch somebody, I do feel like this happened. So you can definitely have a, a conversation. But I feel like with this, uh, this bit of insecurity there, I do feel like it's going to be definitely hard to get this person off of that or over that, okay? All right, let's see what's going on with the Scorpio. Scorpio love reading for November. No, December 2nd through the 9th, 2019. What's going on for the Scorpio? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay. All right. So we got the six of wands here. So I do feel like somebody is emotionally unstable. Okay. I feel like unstable in relationships. And I feel like, of course, this comes from some baggage. Okay. Somebody might be letting somebody from the past ruin what's going on. All right. Or, or affect what's going on. So we got the six of cups. Anxiety. A lot of anxiety surrounding this whole situation and it's all because previous situations um but in this current situation i do feel like somebody is giving love i feel like somebody is receiving love but i do feel like just that them trigger moments them trigger moments is freaking someone out okay i gotta go back i gotta see what's going on mm, mm -mm. i've been there all right so we got the nine of pentacles here so i do feel like um, somebody is getting ready to spend a lot of money. Somebody possibly is just having fun, enjoying life, okay? Um, but I do feel like I don't want to be here. I just want to be with the person that I love, okay? I want to be with the person I love, the person that loves me, okay? So we got the Knight of Swords here. So I think the issue is getting ready to happen here. I do feel like a lot of money was spent on some kind of large thing, some kind of large trip or something like that. I do feel like somebody ditched whatever this is. Um, could have been a, some kind of game, sports game. I feel like somebody is like, okay, I'm not about to be here. I'm going home. Okay, so somebody left whatever this is and went home. Somebody got home and then the argument started there because it's just like a, Okay, I just bought you this $3,000 ticket or this $300, this the $40, $50 ticket. And what are you doing here? Okay. Do feel like this is going to cause a little bit of a argument, a little bit of a strain, but just a little bit of one. Okay. But I do feel like insecurities are getting ready to pop out. All right. So we got the five of wands. So I do feel like somebody is just used to fighting. Somebody used to fighting emotionally. This makes me feel like somebody may need to talk to a counselor. Okay. It's Cause I please get from back there. Ah, oh, come here, girl. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. This makes me feel like somebody needs to, um, possibly talk to a counselor. Cause I do feel like previous situations is definitely running into this relationship. Um, definitely trust issues get is it, is coming in and it's kind of affecting the relationship. I do feel like somebody needs to be talked to before it gets too late. All right, so we got the devil card here. So I do feel like there's a bit of negative energy. Um, I feel like this negative energy is coming from the baggage. Okay. This could be obsession. This obsession could be what you at, where you at, what you doing. And I do feel like it's just like, I feel like somebody's scared that they in love. And I feel like now they want to control everything about what's going on. Okay. Somebody wants to control every, everything, anything. Okay. Um, yes, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Let's see what's going on with this Knight of Swords. One card, please. All right, so we got the Eight of Swords here. So I do feel like somebody is going to work this out. Somebody is going to release themselves from this mental um, jail. Okay, so I, that's lovely just to be able to get out of that. Let's see what's going on with this Knight of Swords now. Okay, so this lovely somebody going to be able to be free. Because I do feel like a lot of love, but I feel like I love some 
someone so much that I'm scared. I'm scared they're going to hurt me, okay? All right, look at that. We got the lover's card again, okay? So I do feel like you guys are going to have a conversation, get together. Everything is going to be good. But I do feel like it's going to be arguing going on about the lack of trust, okay? The lack of trust, big time, okay? So we got the three of swords reversed here. So I do feel like somebody ended a relationship, but I don't feel like they're completely over it. And I think that is why somebody's freaking out in this new situation. So, yeah, I think somebody may need to talk to somebody before they... um. Uh, um, have a deal breaker, okay? But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.